macro market trends, stock selection, ETFs, options, just some of the topics covered in Tactical Trading. Well, this time when we talk with our tactical trader, we're going to talk about bull call spreads. Kevin Cook, senior stock strategist here at Zax.com, joins me to actually talk about the mechanics of using bull call spreads to leverage gains on high-priced stocks, to be more specific. Mm -hmm. Wanted to get that in. Yeah, so for sure. you've written a few articles recently about the advantages of uh, playing Apple with options. Our high-priced stock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Break it down for us. Okay. So... And this is for Apple bulls to begin with, okay? This is not a speculative strategy for just anybody looking to make a buck. You've got to believe in Apple as a fundamental story, as an earning story, okay. um, and play the chart. And I've been doing these kinds of bull call spreads in high price stocks like Apple and Google and Netflix and IBM and CME Group for several years, and they okay. work. I tend to buy a more in-the-money spread. So here's one example I laid out. Mm -hmm. Now, this, is, this would be considered an at-the-money bull call spread. Where we're going out to January, out about three months, um, ahead of uh, the next quarterly earnings report. And by the way, they just missed this week, so that was yeah. a, a big event where the you know, stock took a dive back down 20 bucks to 400 So here I'm going out to January. I'm buying the... January 375 call for about 47 bucks, okay. and selling at the same time the January 425 call for uh, about 20 bucks. Uh, net debit on the spread, $27 a share for options. It's 100 shares per contract. So this spread cost me $2,700 to get into. All right. Okay? Yeah. And this, this graph you're looking at, this is what your profit and loss and your risk and reward look like at expiration on January 21st. Okay. Um, so you see that you have the potential to make $23 per share or $2,300 on the trade. And if you carried it to expiration and Apple goes above $425, which is your goal by mm -hmm. January 21st, mm -hmm. you'll, this would be a return of 85% return on risk uh, in only three months. So tell me, if I still have $27 a share at risk, mm -hmm. uh, how is this any better than just buying Apple at $400? And having a stop loss round, maybe three seventy five. Uh, okay, that's a great question. Fair question. You know, why not just if I'm risking that amount? And that's the thing about options. Options give you limited risk, but you still have this full twenty seven hundred dollars at risk. Mm -hmm. All right. The reason you do the spread instead of buying the stock is because you have to put up less capital. Even if you're in a margin account to buy Apple at four hundred dollars, it's still going to cost you two hundred dollars per share, right? Right. So in this case, we're only shelling out twenty seven dollars per share. I see. So we can use capital elsewhere. So it's a more efficient use of capital. Also, the, this is an interesting thing about uh, option spreads like this. It, it, it has a psychological effect on you where you, could, where you sort of set it and forget it. You have a time frame in mind. We're going out three months. I'm giving the strategy time to work. So even if Apple dips down to uh, 380, I, I'm not in a panic. In fact, I might add to the strategy. I give it time to work. So some would say, why options with, say, three months to go? If time is one of the biggest factors mm -hmm. in, in the success of the strategy, why not go out six months or a year? Another fair question. Uh, I like to play this about three months at a time because I, if I'm, I'm confident about a move in Apple mm -hmm. and I can gauge it over a three-month period around earnings, uh, I know I can lock in a good amount of profit. If I go out six months or a year, then I'm tying up that capital for a while and the call spread will not evolve to its full value. So if I'm, even if I'm right about the direction and, uh, and the timing, um, I, I won't get the same profit if I own the June spread or the next year's uh, September or October spread I as I will if I go shorter term. Makes sense. He's our tactical trader. He's Kevin Cook, our senior stock strategist at Zax.com. And if you're watching this video from outside of our website, then go to our homepage, Zax.com, scroll down the page until you see Kevin's picture, and there is a live link to his most recent, his most current, column that he's written for Zax.com. You can follow him on our website. You can follow him on Twitter, at Kevin B. Cook. With Kevin, I'm Terry Ruffalo.